It is a giant cricket. Leave him alone. It's the library. No, that's the, that's the Facebook live stream. So I'll, I'll turn that off if that bothers you guys. I'm just glad I didn't wear my vest tonight. It's blue, though. Morning. Thank you, Launch CFW, for having me uh, in such a last minute. I uh, really found out Sunday night, and I said there was an open spot, so I said, let's do it. Uh, thank you. Um, my name is Izzy with Happier House. Home improvement has never been easier. Or as I like to say, bullshit-free home improvement. I have a funny story behind this at the end if I have enough time. So what's the problem? Finding a contractor sucks. You spend a countless amount of time gathering quotes, uh, sch scheduling home visits, playing phone tag, and at the end you end up with multiple quotes, different prices, all for the same project. Some services, good services, uh, but really they just speed up the bullshit. Uh, they solicit bids, um, they give you a broad price range based on your zip code, uh, so-called pre-estimates. Um, there's really um, not a solution out there that, that makes it easier and transparent for the homeowner. So our solution, uh, really our, our mission is simple, is make home improvement uh, easier and transparent. So we provide homeowners, uh, uh, we uh, make home improvement uh, for homeowners uh, by saving time and money uh, by uh, using technology to manage their projects. So how do we do that, right? Well, we cut out the fat, right? There's no middleman. So we're able to offer homeowners uh, wholesale pricing on materials and all-inclusive all pricing on installation. It's uh, pretty simple. You go online, you uh, tell us about your projects. Uh, it takes less than two minutes. Uh, you get upfront pricing with no surprises. You book your um, project, and then we, we take it from there. We're like a home concierge for home improvement. So how do we make money? We partner with uh, vetted, reliable companies, um, and we take a 5 to 15% fee per project. Uh, some of the companies that we work with love it because uh, they save money in, in the process, uh, add dollars, uh, lead gen, um, and, and, and they don't have to pay a salesman uh, to, to actually go out there and sell. Um, so we're actually providing them a job versus just a lead. Market size, uh, enough said, it's pretty huge. Uh, it's probably going to reach 345 uh, by the end of this year. Uh, some industry success stories. Um, here you see some major brands uh, that want to get in on, on this uh, home improvement. Um, Red Beacon, Home Depot, um, uh, Pro, which is actually Amazon Home Services, uh, CEO of Amazon, um, actually invested in Pro, but then like a year later, Amazon Home Services launched, so I'm not sure that's a kind of like a competitor to each other. Uh, if anyone here knows anyone at Home Depot, uh, an intro would be awesome. Uh, so we, we officially launched uh, two weeks ago uh, with only a $200 Google ad budget. Uh, we were able to quote uh, over 70K in, in projects. Uh, the team, real quick, our hipster, he's uh, 10 years experience in home renovation. Uh, uh, Ryan, our developer, uh, has built websites for FedEx. Uh, Joey, uh, most honest guy I know. Uh, he has 17 years in uh, construction, residential, and commercial. And myself, uh, branding and marketing expert. Uh, Joey is, he doesn't drink, doesn't drink coffee. He's Mormon. He doesn't cuss, so I can't get him to say bullshit free home improvement. So that, that's the reason I made the emoji. Uh, it's the way around it. <laughs> but uh, that's it.
Right, and uh, that's going to be one of the challenges uh, to work around their schedules. Um, I guess small to medium. So right now we're working with our own crews, and once we expand, we'll. we'll uh, no, we vet the contractor. Yeah. I just had a question. Um, I'm over here on the other side of the room. Hi. <laughs> Um, I used to work as a claims adjuster, and so I worked with homeowners frequently and wrote estimates uh, to have their damage repaired. Mm -hmm. And in my experience, about 95% of homeowners have zero idea what their house materials are made of. So I'm curious about what the experience is in terms of how you're getting the homeowner to give you the right information about what the materials are so that you can get an accurate quote so there isn't back and forth. Because um, in my experience, everyone thinks they have hardwood floors when they don't. So I just imagine that being a, a very big issue. Absolutely. I just talked to a gentleman this morning, Stanley, in Plano that got hit by the storm. He has his insurance claim. Doesn't know. He's clueless. He's never done it before. We've been there. We've done it. We've actually quoted jobs. We work with insurance companies. So we, we know the, the material, all that stuff, the depreciation, how all that works. So we actually... Uh, we get on the phone with them and kind of educate them on the process. Um, so w one of his questions was, uh, you know, you know, do you, can you help me with my windows shattered and with my gutters, with my roof? Yes, we can take care of that. So for him to work with one contact versus five different contractors, it's just a no-brainer. Yeah, so they, they can either jump online and there's a, a feature to where they can tell us what it is. For instance, let's say a fence. They can enter in, hey, I have a 100-foot linear feed. It's six feet tall. It's cedar. It's stained. And then we're, we're, able, we're able to quote that. If they don't know, then we'll go ahead and send someone out to get all the details. So out of that 70K in quoted projects, what percentage of them are complete? And what is the satisfaction rate compared to the industry norm? So we, we just quoted those projects. We're probably going to put our first project in the next two weeks. So to, to kind of uh, go off of what she was saying with, with having, and, and your answer about having someone come out to the house or to, to call on the phone or anything like that, how do you see yourself scaling in the future uh, if you're your model is based around this having to discuss and interact directly with, uh, with clients and customers. And, and what happens if, in Fiona's case, you have way too many claims being handled right now? Is, is your technology at a point where you can eventually lead people through that? Or, or how, how is that set up? And yes. Yeah, so currently we're, we're kind of starting, you know, kind of like a soft launch, trying to get, you know, all the tweaks worked out but we're, we're able to handle uh, anything like that because it's mostly online and most homeowners will do kind of, you know, their research so they already know what they want. So on our site, you can, they can actually enter all, all, all the details that we need to quote that project. Sorry, I guess I'm still just confused. Like, how do you stop yourself from getting burned by just spending all day long quoting prices, sending people out, burning that, your money that way and not actually getting these quotes complete. I guess I just don't see how you're ensuring the fact that you're actually get this work done because they go through you and then they decide oh, I'm still going to go through this other contractor just in case and I'm going to go with them and again you're not making the money. Yeah the quotes are mostly automated so, so our, our, our technology for instance for a roof if someone enters their address we're able to satellite image the, uh, the home and get measurements that way and give them a quote so it's all automated online. So currently, is this just a web-based uh, interface, or do you have plans yeah, so there's, for So there's not a lot of back and forth with, with, with the homeowner unless they need help. For instance, hey, I don't know what the heck this paperwork says. Then, then we'll jump in and call or 